So I'm volunteering at this pub in Scotland. I was serving the drinks right, and these bunch of old blokes, they were calling me over to them. They were like, can we please get some more drinks? And he, did, he didn't say that. He was like, can I get a furtherance? And I said, a what? And then he goes, he goes, can I get a, a furtherance? And I was like, I was like, a what? I was like, what is that? What is it? He goes, can I get a furtherance? A furtherance? Can I get a furtherance? I was like, what the hell is that? But it turns out he wanted a furtherance, like furthermore. Like he wanted more drinks. He wanted a, a furtherance. God damn that train's loud, holy shit. Guys, I'm going to I'm going to London right now. Let's go. Super spontaneous. Let's go from like the north of Scotland to the south. I just want to tell you how beautiful you are. Uh, she a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. Okay. Sorry. You guys are some baddies by the way. Oh uh, thanks. That's all good. Is are this we on video? I'm live streaming right Hi. now. I'm famous on TikTok. Hi. I'm actually a virgin. Oh, that's fine. And I've got autism as well. That's fine. Thank you. Hi. Bye. Day, Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. I love you too. She a baddie. She knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. I'm on the train now in the London Stansted Airport. Uh, and look, this has to be the finest day I've seen in the whole entire UK. Look, I feel like I'm in Australia now. Look at that blue sky. Not a single cloud. Look at that. No clouds at all. Giving me Australian uh, flashbacks. Let's go on this on this uh, bus right here. This train thing. Look, no clouds. I can't believe it. What is a woman? Up to definition of the person that wants to be a woman, I guess. If a, somebody that looked like a guy walked up to me and said, I'm a woman, I'd probably be like, okay. And women should not be defined as biological parts. There's two different types, I guess you would say. One biological and one mentally. Uh, an object. Oh, snap. Uh, do you guys, do you guys uh, know what, what is a woman? Huh? What is a woman? A woman? Yeah. Um, a human being that has like tits and a vagina. This old man just told me I look like Buddy Holly. That is literally what I see when I look in the mirror. They also said I look like Bill Haley. I'm shocked I have so many celebrity lookalikes. How do you feel about Queen Elizabeth passing away? Fuck her. Thank fuck she's fucking dead. I can say but so at 96 it done no bad. Feel sad that, you know, someone's mum or grandmother's passed away, but she was 97, you know, I'm not like a royalist and stuff like that, so yeah, I think it's sad, but I think the reaction's totally overblown. Oh, it's pretty sad for the family, and basically, I'm a staunch Republican. If there was no Queen or King, it would be an advancement for me. It's kind of a forced five-day vacation, so um, one way or another, thanks for the time off. <laughs> that's a good one, yeah, that's, like, that's a great way of putting it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I personally didn't even know her. We can all remember that we were alive when it happened, because our kids will talk about it, because it's going to timestamp a lot. But that is what it is. It's it's something that happened. It'll never be forgotten. I've known her for a number of years because uh, I'm 16 now. We serve Every single comment that I get asking about my hair is part of my plan to really make it and to blow up and be the next big thing in LA. Because every single comment that asks about my hair helps to boost my engagement and helps to boost my views, and which is really important. And it gives me the best chance to really making it in in LA. Five things I would never do in a shearing shed. Number one is drop the broom. This is because the sheep kick if the, they hear a broom that drops and the shearers get angry. Number two is not wear hearing protection. It's very loud and I don't want to go deaf. Number three is not shower because I just don't want to be stinky and be looked down upon by my co-workers. Number four is film without permission. I literally got dropped here like the other day for filming someone without permission, nearly bashed. And number five is follow for part two. Another day has gone. Gençler mi tehlikelisi? E, tabii gençler tehlikelisi. Yani içtiği maddelerden dolayı oluyor bu şeyler. Eskiden karışırlardı. Şimdi gençleri direkt sorguya çekerler. Eskiden bu madde yoktu. Büyüklerimiz yani hep karşı gelir. Her şey şimdikinler hiçbir şey karışmıyor. Bugün gençler büyüklere saygı gösteriyorlar mı? Saygı bitmiş, sevgi bitmiş. Oo. Artık birbirini arkadaş bile görse kaçıyor birbirinden. Aman o benden bir şey ister mi? Aman bana bir şey yapar mı? Beni dolandırır mı? Madde girdiğinden beri insanlarımız çok değişti. Sıkıntı nasıl çözebiliriz? Yani bu madde buralara gelmezse gençlerimiz ne yapacak? Bulamayacak. Bulamadığı için içemeyecek. Aileler huzurlu olacak. Bu sıkıntıyı açtılar mı olay bitiyor. Çocuklar anasız babasız kalıyor, öksüz büyüyor. 
bu maddeyi kaldırırlarsa olay biter. O zaman çözülür yani. Sor- I'm in Scotland and I was just sitting down and a bunch of 12 year old kids sat down like kind of close by me. I could hear what they were talking about and they were saying oh this weekend they're gonna uh, planning for a birthday party and that they were gonna get a, a sugar rush and it reminded me of how like I thought that's so innocent and then they started talking about getting a bag of methadone. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm let out a little boogie. I bet. Allow it fam. You get me? Allow it fam. Look at this beautiful blue sky in Glasgow though. Look. What fashion are you sick of seeing? Oh. Boring hats that aren't fish related. Look, I'm an honest man, but I would say the fish hats are really just like a level above the other regular boring hats. They're perfect for every occasion, you can imagine. You can, wear, you, can wear, you can wear them in the pool, you can wear them to your work speech. You can, the pinnacle of human evolution, really. The, the pinnacle of human evolution. Does anyone know how to get rid of the stench from your armpits? Like, no matter how much I wash them with soap, it still has a bit of a, like, sweaty armpit smell. And no, I shouldn't have to wear deodorant. Like, soap and water should just, like, get rid of it. I think it's because of, like, the, because of, like, the hair. But yeah, let me know if that's normal or not. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! Oh, bro, I need some fucking water. <laughs> what the fuck is a painful? <laughs> What the fuck? It's supposed to be spicy. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh. 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 It's supposed to be spicy, not painful. So, what's the freakiest thing you've done? The freakiest thing I've done in Long Beach? I mean, in general. Oh, in general. Yeah. I'm getting on in a bathroom. That's it? That was clean. On top of it, not inside of it. I would never go in it. What's the freakiest thing you've done? Oh, rapping, thank you. No, the freakiest thing you've done. What, yeah, like, what's the freakiest thing you've done? You never go. You never go. <coughs> you never been a hoe? Never been a hoe. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. God bless you. Take care, right? Bar. Attention shoppers! Can I get a oh yeah? Hey yo, I love how when I'm walking around at night without the dog, I look mad sus, look mad suspicious. But when I got the dog, look, I'm just chilling. I walk, I can walk around and uh, just be chill. Look, I'm just walking the dog late at night at like uh, what's the time? It's like before 10 p.m. They say nothing good happens after t- after 10 p.m. I didn't think anyone actually uses WhatsApp except for like my uncle in Turkey. But like, look, WhatsApp order. What? Who who uses WhatsApp? I mean, I use WhatsApp, but that's only to like talk to my uncle in Turkey and like my family. What's WhatsApp? England's funny, dude. Oh, I'm about to get run over. Hi. My bad. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> look, England, guys. I've been eating so many Pop-Tarts, it's time that I eat the healthy foods. I got the apples, I got the pears, I got the tomatoes, and I just want to start eating healthier. Guys, I can't, I can't just be like out here. You know, sticking my sticking my nose into other people's business. You know, it's none of my business. So I just got to, I just minding my own business. You know. I worked with told me once that I shouldn't suck my tea bags at smoker times because it means like you want to suck the eyes something or whatever. What the hell? It was just a hating ass fool. This is so creepy. That thing tweaking. Oh nah nah stuff that. Oh no. Oh y'all. This motherfucker's looking at me. Can you name three countries outside of America? Three countries? Yeah. India, China, and Africa. Canada, Africa, and Europe. Nice. I used to struggle with amphetamine addiction when I was like 
16 like i always had access to amphetamines because i like i was prescribed adhd amphetamines since i was like 14 and like i wouldn't take them and i'd just stockpile them and i'd have like heaps of them not a good thing because i like i would take them every weekend in like a binge i wouldn't take two i'd take so many and that made me get like an addiction and, and that's what made me to like use meth and what made like made me be a homeless meth user and i have been clean for three years off the meth and i'm so grateful for just taking one a day because it actually has an effect on me and i'm so glad that i haven't completely burnt out my neurotransmitters and, and one still has an effect on me if i take two i'll just be chasing that euphoria and it's not taking it as prescribed that's why i won't be taking two I just want to go into the reception to eat my food. I just want to eat my food. We're close now. We're just clearing up. So okay. where do I eat my food? Outside. We open, we open at 3 o'clock. This is the stinkiest hostel I've ever stayed in. It smells okay, like poop. Thank you. It literally smells like poop, bro, in the reception. It literally stinks like poop. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. This literally stinks like poop in here right now. It stinks like poop. Yuck. I just got two burgers from McDonald's and it explicitly said it's $3.99. So I handed the cashier $4 and then she goes, oh no, it's uh, $4.50. Bruh, like it says clearly $4 on the menu. And she goes, oh, nah, that's without tax included. Why can't you just include the tax in the price? Very sneaky in America. Very, very sneaky. Like they try to trick you. Number one rapper in the system I've been saving up my money trying to buy a circumcision Shit ain't always how it seems I've been fucking up my life like I'm Charlie Sheen I've been trying to find my willy but it's unclean And it's the same size as the jelly bean mm, Yeah, number one, I never run Uncle get your finger out my bum One of my Australian TikTok buddies posted this video of Somebody in one of their shearing sheds over there Anyways, it's one of my absolute favorite videos to watch. Some good lamb shearing right here. <clears throat> this guy definitely knows what he's doing. I like how he does that little clean out right on the back of the leg before he does those long blows down the hip and up the backbone. But just watch this style. This is a great video to watch like over and over again if you want to master the style that, you know, Australians use to uh, shear very efficiently and uh, get the wool off quick and effortlessly and you can see the animal's not in any pain i mean he's taking the wool off quick but the animal isn't really struggling or in any sort of pain he's doing it very gently but that just comes with experience because he knows how to handle that handpiece and go over the skin without cutting it up not to say you know he can't nick it or whatnot here and there but this guy's just really damn good and uh yeah, I'd have to say this is one of my favorite videos you've posted in a while. And uh, yeah, go check out Shearing Shed Vlogs. Link in the bio or in the description. All right, good job. When I first came to America, I couldn't believe they had this stuff and they don't actually put milk in their coffee. In now that I got a taste for crema, I actually like it. So I'm gonna be making myself a boafi the American way. Ooh, that's sweet. It tastes good in milk, uh, coffee though. Mm. I actually think it's cheaper than the um, 19 pounds. Is it good? Edinburgh. Oh, yes, please. I'll just shove it in. Push it in and let it go. You just missed that 19 pounds. Let's go. Ah, çok teşekkürler. 
Good morning, you guys. I've lost my voice, and now I'm getting slightly turned on by the raspiness of my voice. It's a very, very sexy, attractive tone of voice, not gonna lie. But basically, today, I caught the uh, mega bus from London to... Uh, I was supposed to go to Glasgow, but I got off in Edinburgh, and now I'm catching the train from Edinburgh to Aberfeldy to try to get my Vivant prescription. I beg your pardon? Can I have your name and badge number? No, you don't want to give me your what's, name. what's that got to do with the situation at hand? No, I said I'm trying to confirm that I'm giving the bike to the right person. Oh, okay. Uh, Turan. Turan is my name. That's, my bad. That's I... all I needed. Now you're, you're, just, you're just acting like a child, you know? My bad. All right. Bro, where's my hotel room that I paid for? Hey? Dude, this guy just refused to give me a hotel room. And I've already paid for it two nights and he wants a hundred dollar deposit and I said nah and now he goes oh I'm gonna he cancelled my reservation and uh, now he's calling the police on me to what bruh nah mate Australia is better Aussie 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 oi 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 attention shoppers can I get a oh yeah So I'm an Australian traveller currently in the UK and I wanted to share with you guys my bus trip down from Edinburgh to London. It was a 10 hour bus trip and I slept for most of it and upon arriving in London, it was I was overwhelmed by like just how different England and Scotland is because I spent most of my time in Scotland. Look, they had these Bellic lovers for all the London roadmen. Also, the train station was absolutely packed in London and large crowds like these used to give me so much social anxiety, but I think traveling has helped me overcome my fear of crowds. It was beautiful seeing the scenery on the train change from big city to like English countryside. And once I got to my destination, I headed straight to Tesco for my sushi breakfast. You already know I'm, I'm on the mill deals. Club card accepted. And you already know I got that club card. Shout out to my friend uh, John for letting me use his club card. It saves me heaps of money. I still can't get used to this freaking screeching of this subway train. In Turkey, my pronouns are or, and that's everyone's pronouns because there are no genders attached to pronouns. There is no him, there is no he in Turkey. It's just or. I really want to get on the packet tonight. <laughs> and I literally have to ask myself, like, why do I want to use? And I, because I know why I want to use, I am bored. I am not taking my ADHD medication. I'm more impulsive. I'm more likely to make an impulsive decision that will mess up the future of my life, like getting on the packet because I'm not taking my ADHD medication, which I am trying to get prescribed. Um, because I can rationalize that and really understand why I want to use uh, it. I can make a rational decision that I actually don't want to use um, tonight. I, I'll actually make the decision not to use tonight and get on the packet. Instead, I'm getting on the uh, look at Ben and Jerry's Mental Wonderlands oh, ice cream. Mm. Amazing. And no, no calm down, no hangover tomorrow, but. One of my followers let me crash on their couch last night and I had a really, really nice, refreshing sleep last night. And he even made me a really nice warm dinner last night. And I'm ready to go check out the party scene in the University of Otago. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? Nah, that neighbor of much, that neighbor he eat it, he eat it for lunch. Bitch, I'm the king of the town, bitch. Ah, ah. Guys, one thing that I'm just amazed about England is that like the churches, look at how like old the churches look. You see like, I don't, like it's just amazing like the history of England and like, yeah, 
I look at TikToks of like English people who go to Australia and I think like, oh, what's so special about Australia? But now I'm an Australian going to England and I'm like, everything's amazing. It's, it's cool seeing another part of the world. It is that hard to find iced coffee in America. Like, why do you got to have cream pie for? Like, it's all this like cream, cream pie stuff. Like, where is the iced coffee? Like, that is, that's, that's creamer. And like, they're all about it. Oh, like, oh, this is creamer. It's just cream. Like, where's that iced coffee at? There's none. None. It's just cream pie. Cream pie. Look, you got the regular milk and you got the cream pie, but no iced coffee. I can't piss at urinals, so I have to use this one to go number one. Bro, the whole thing about being in a stall is privacy. Dude, I can just look over this and I can, bro, look at this. Oh my God, this is no privacy whatsoever. How bro, America really is the land of the free. I just had to use the restroom in this Shake Shack and I brought the electric bike inside the restroom because I don't have a bike lock and I can't leave it outside. Who's going to tell me to not take my bike inside the store? Bro, it's fr complete freedom. If this was Australia, I would have had someone saying, Um, excuse me, you can't take the bike inside the store. Why? Why can't I take the bike inside the store? Why not? I just got off uh, the bus at Perth. I was busting for a piss. And now I'm going to go right behind here. Let's go. Perfect designated pissing spot. Oh, it's so nice and secluded. I hope. Let's go. When I was about 16, I used to take more than prescribed of my dexamphetamine ADHD medication. And I used to stim fap, which is where you will take five times my prescribed dose. And I would just like beat my uh, proverbial stuff. And that really opened up an addiction towards like master debation because I realized I could get such a strong feeling just from a, a, a climax and a, a nut, so to speak. Ever since then, also combined with watching prom that really made me like objectify women and you know just associate master debating with just a really intense high and rush and a feel good like feeling instead of like a a love making um ceremony which is what i guess climaxing is is supposed to do and ever since i stopped watching prom and also like getting on to nofap which is where you abstain from master debation for extended periods of time it really helped me to like just connect more with females and like I bro in high school I used to be that kid that would like whenever girls would say hi to me like I would just ignore them because I thought that I was better than them like it's just so messed up man I quit my master debation addiction um although I still relapse and I still do dabble in, in master debation from time to time um it's it's got less of an effect on my social interactions with females and also males because I'm not always in my room um you know master debating away so I've been living in America for about two weeks now and I keep seeing these signs everywhere I went and I never actually got to see them up close until now. And I thought they were like dial before you dig signs like in Australia where there's like pipes underneath the ground. It says dial before you dig. <laughs> so like you don't big up, dig up a pipe. But no, this is someone's passed away here. And uh, yeah, rest in peace, man. Ever since I relapsed last week, I've just been craving getting high again because i've already got high once so why can't i do it again that's that's how my addict's brain is starting to justify using like one more time and i wanted to use really because i was get banned on tiktok and I, w I would continually get banned i don't know whether someone was reporting my account or not but like i would be banned for a week and then within two days of posting again i'll be banned again for another week even though my videos um wouldn't have any community violations they, they would get like appealed and accepted and it actually happened again like just yesterday I, I was banned for a whole week then i got unbanned like then within two days of getting being unbanned i had another video go under um review for a community violations but luckily tiktok didn't actually ban me this time so that that's a good thing um but my tiktok account is is not really giving me that much pleasure um, anymore um, because I have, I think I have less dopamine in my brain after my, my relapse. But definitely make sure you guys are following me if you want to learn more about the process of shearing. I love you guys so much.